The Cincinnati Bengals are just one of those teams that as you've watched through the season, you're like, man, how are they like so good right now? Like what happened? Like there's just they're 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 playing very well. Uh and on its and I I at my first glance, I'm like, okay, they got Joe Burrow back, they got uh, you know Jamar Chase. I'm thinking, okay, that's probably a big reason why, which makes a lot of sense. Now, if you take a look at the Bengals, um, who who currently somehow sit at first place in the AFC North, and you know at nine and six, and with the Raiders or excuse me, the Ravens right in the back there at eight and seven. You know, there's some pressure on them, but uh, not really. They are playing very well right now, and it's 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 pretty tough to see because. Uh, well, not really tough to see. It's tough to understand at first, for me at least. I was like, how did they get so good? Like, they went from one of the worst teams in the NFL to being, you know, having a top five draft pick to all of a sudden now they're uh, about to lock a playoff spot or it looks like they're about to. And if I'm being honest, you know, my first uh, my first glance, they always say don't judge a book by its cover. I thought they were an all-offensive team. Um, and if you look at their stats, they, they look uh, very good. Now, if you look at Joe Burrow this season, he's had a tremendous season. I mean, 30 touchdown passes, 14 interceptions, over 4,100 yards passing, completing almost 70% of his passes. And, you know, uh, you know, he's been sacked a lot despite the fact that, you know, they, they did put some things into their uh, – they didn't put as much resources into their offensive line. But still, if they can get some their offensive line figured out, man, the Bengals will just I, I think the Bengals could win the AFC I really do because if they can get their offensive line figured out they can they can definitely do some damage and if you look at Joe Burrow though I mean clearly he he needs to be in the conversation for MVP at least like uh, he is just he elevates this team uh, in so many ways he has that attitude that swagger um, but he just he honestly is just one of the better quarterbacks young quarterbacks in the NFL um, and he's going to be a hand moving forward I think he's honestly going to do a lot of great things for uh, the Bengals moving forward and I honestly think that you know he's going to start to get some of those Pro Bowl uh, accolades and those uh, those MVP conversations real soon, especially if he continues to play like this, be, being pressured so much, being sacked 47 times, and you know he is he is a tremendous quarterback. Then also running the football, they've got Joe Mixon uh, over 280 carry, oh, 280 carries on the season, over 1150 rushing yards, 13 touchdowns. Now he's also caught the ball quite a bit. He is honestly he is just a firebug. Like if you just let him do his thing, he's just tough to stop. Like he is the heart and soul of that running game. And you know Perrine has done. Uh, well as well but at the end of the day it does all right on Joe Mixon like he is the heart and soul of that team other than Joe Burrow they've got two guys that are leaders uh, that can run the football and in their in their starting quarterback so the Bengals that's obviously a reason uh, for their success as well um, and we're also going to do uh, by the way we're also going to do a video on, uh, on on the fact that the Bengals, you know, they are just on defense. They're playing very well. I believe they're top 10 in passing yards. They're top 10 in rushing yards. They're top 10 in sacks. I'm not getting a ton of interceptions, but that's okay because you're destroying on all those other categories of, of yards and everything, and they're taking care of business. And I think at the end of the day, uh, I think it, what it really comes down to is the fact that, you know, if you can also just find a way to take care of business on that end of it. And by the way, oh yeah, they are uh, also finding a way uh, to get to the quarterback, like we mentioned. Like, I think they're what, uh, seventh or eighth in the NFL in sacks right now. They're just, they're absolutely looking every bit uh, as uh, of the team that you want to see, especially coming off that year last year, you know they're just they're finding a way to get it done, uh, and I'm 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 really enthused by um, what they're doing uh, because at the end of the day, they do have to they did have to do some defensive changes and they've done a great job this year they really have uh, and I'm I'm really excited to see um, you know where this continues to take them. Uh, and I, you know, we'll, we'll come up with a more uh, strenuous video on their scoring as well on defense as well, but you know, they are taking care of a lot of business, but let's get back to what they've done on offense, which is absolutely amazing too. So if you look, uh, on their offensive side of the football, T Higgins got him on my fantasy team. I see, I could see it coming from a mile away. I could see it. Uh, T Higgins, 71 catches over a thousand yards, six touchdowns this year. Um, he has evolved. Like he has absolutely evolved into being not only a number one wide receiver, but, um, I mean, and, and plus the Bengals don't even just have one number one wide receiver. We're talking about Tyler Boyd, Jamar Chase, Ty, uh, uh, T. Higgins, excuse me. There is a lot uh, of great pieces on this team. Uh, and I think at the end of the day, you know, when you have this many weapons, it not only does it make it so hard uh, for opponent, opposing teams to stop you, but it's also the fact that, like, it honestly comes down to how well they play together. And uh, I, I think all of them are equally sharing the ball as well. They don't they don't really care about who gets the ball because at the end of the day, it's, it's literally the game of, 
who are you going to stop? And it's just it's getting to the getting to the point now when you look at this all these stats. You know, you get Jamar Chase, who in my mind should be offensive rookie of the year, has uh, 68 catches, 1100 over 1100 yards and 10 touchdowns. Tyler Boyd, 63 catches, 792 yards and four touchdowns as well. And the CJ uh, Uzama got his name right. What's up? I learned how to say it. Yeah, 45 catches, over 460 yards and five touchdowns this year. He has had a breakout year as well. And you know, I think he's found a home there with Joe Burrow, and I think that they need to consider. Uh, and continue to bring him along uh, because he's a great tight end and um, he can he can run he can do he can catch or just about do anything you want him to so he's been absolutely fantastic this year and I think when it comes down to it is you know the the Bengals uh, have just all around played better uh, this year and I think there's a lot of different things you can attribute to that um, now I I did uh, uh, kind of stretch the truth here a little bit they are uh, bottom half of the NFL in, in a scoring defense allowed uh, excuse me, that is offense of statistics I was looking at there for a second. I need to wake up Colton. Um, but I, I will say again, their defense has gotten a lot better. And I feel like at the end of the day, you know, uh, when you look at what they've done, they are, you know, middle of the pack, excuse me, more in that, you know, 21, uh, 22 points per game allowed. Uh, and it's, you know, it's very encouraging. They are uh, finding a way to get it done. And I, I think that uh, they're going to continue to just bring it. And that's exactly what you want to see from a defense that continues to improve. Um, and, uh, you know, when you think about it, they're being, you know, more in the middle of the pack, uh, out of the top 10, they're just barely out of the top 10. There's just a lot of reasons for them improving on defense. But, you know, like we said, offensively, they're doing a lot of amazing things, but overall, from a team perspective, the Bengals are just, they're, they're a tough team right now. Like offensively, they're getting, they're, they're spreading the ball around to their playmakers defensively. They're getting to the quarterback. They're uh, they're cutting down on their points allowed. Uh, they're again they're top ten and and, and uh, rushing yards and passing yards allowed. Uh, you know sacks everything the whole shebang. So the point is don't sleep on the Cincinnati Bengals as we get closer with our playoff pictures here because you know as we as you with our latest uh, NFL and uh, AFC and AFC playoff pictures you know they're sitting in the top five seeds there with a the potential to make the playoffs. Just don't sleep on the Bengals because they are a dangerous team right now uh, and they're playing great on all side on both sides of the football and special teams has not been awful either uh i, I think you know uh has it been top uh, uh from my recollection i think it's been uh it's been serviceable and that's exactly uh as long as as long as special teams just doesn't kill you you're you're fine so uh but on both sides of the football here they are uh they're taking care of the at least from those perspectives they're taking care of business and like we said don't sleep on the cincinnati Bengals. but let us know what you guys think make sure you guys like and subscribe down below leave a like and a comment it helps people find the show we greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get you guys are all truthfully awesome and we love every single one of you check out our website at the sportsfreepodcast.com in the description down below you'll find all of our social media platforms as well so give us a like and a follow there we'd greatly appreciate it also uh if you would give us a listen and sub on itunes we'd greatly appreciate it and then finally if you have anything you'd like us to cover send us an email at the sports bp at yahoo.com or put it in the comment section down below and we'd love to cover it but let us know what you guys think about don well not sleeping on the cincinnati Bengals.